What's up people, this is William Jones making videos about leaving religion. The purpose of the videos is to get you to think, turn your brains on and think, and use logic and use reason and realize that religion is fake. Alright people, I'm just dropping this video now because uh, the, the date is April 8th, 2024, and today we had an eclipse. And I was online, online, on YouTube, listening to a video someone suggested to me by a page I'm not going to mention. And I thought it was going to be legit. I thought it was going to be legit. And I knew it was all went to hell when... They was like, well, you know who created everything? You know who created everything? And I'm like, you know, he's not saying it, but he ain't saying it. And then he came out with that one word I only needed to hear to know the rest of the video was crap. And he said, God. And I was like, scrap all of this. Scrap the whole video. Now this is just for entertainment. And it's not factual at all. It's just somebody trying to get some money off of this sensationalism, you know, dropping a video. I was like, but you know what? Because it was, the video was sent to me by someone or they suggested it, two hours and 40 minutes, I went on ahead and I listened to it. I said, I'm just going to listen to it because I can't really speak about it if I hadn't heard it. Same with when I talked about the uh, the movie The Book of Clarence. And and the Christians were judging the movie based on the trailer and the movie hadn't even come out. So you're judging the trailer but hadn't even seen the movie. So I couldn't be like that. I couldn't speak about the video if I hadn't listened to the whole video. And so I had to... I had to drag it out because so many times I was ready to click off of this video because it was so full of nonsense. I was losing brain cells. It was just nonsense. It was nonsense. And unlike old school conspiracy theories, so they're like, oh, they mentioned CERN. You know, C E R N. They mentioned CERN, and, and I was like, "That's old stuff." And they were talking about creating portals. Old stuff. The Philadelphia Project was the whole thing with that. I mean, old stuff. They ain't said nothing I hadn't heard yet. And it, it was just so much. And then then they incorporated the whole religion into. The eclipse, and basically, what I want I want to say that about that. There's no talking about the eclipse, so it's an eclipse. It's not the first one; won't be the last one. It is what it is. It's just an eclipse. 2017, we had one. I sat there, and watched that one, and I watched this one. It was just an eclipse. They talking about if you look into the. Uh, if you look at the sun during the eclipse, demons are coming to your body. No, you don't want to look into ultraviolet rays. And then the guy even said, oh, y'all, y'all, look at this, look at this. You know this is something because they made eclipse glasses. What is this, eclipse glasses? Dude. I have my glasses from 2017 Eclipse. They've been making these glasses, and they are nothing but welding glasses with a thin film on a, on a cheaper scale because you're not welding. You're just looking at the sun. It's the same thing when someone is welding. You can't look at that flame when they're welding because it's ultraviolet lights coming off of there. You can't look at it. That's why welders wear that same welder's glass. 
Like, what are you talking about? But, you know, to those who are not aware of this, oh, it's so deep. This is deep. He, oh, he getting, he getting into it. And I'm like, he's not getting into anything. He's just rambling. Because once he brought in God, Jesus, and then showing clips of people talking about prophecies from the Bible. Right then, I'm like, this, this, this is not a real video. And, 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 and he said at the beginning of the video, which lets you know it's all BS. Everything is allegedly. He tells you that everything I'm saying is allegedly. So when you're telling me from the jump, it's allegedly then that means everything you said after that is not to be taken seriously. It's not factual. You're just doing it for entertainment purposes. And in fact, one of the clips he used from someone, they said this is for entertainment purposes, you know. So it's, if it's for entertainment purposes, it's not factual. And I don't want to sit around, I, mean, I ain't really want to listen to this, it's not factual. And then as the host, all you're doing is posting clips from other people's stuff and then asking your audience, ooh, what do y'all think about that? What do you feel about that? Ooh, ooh, this is sensationalism. You, you have no facts, no facts. You're just doing this because they sending you money while you're making the video. Live. It was live. So, you can get them with that, but with me, pass all of that nonsense. Once y'all start quoting all these, and it's prophecy. Eclipses are not prophecy when they can tell you when the next one's going to happen. They can tell you other eclipses that have already happened. It's not prophecy. It's just them mapping the way the solar system, our solar system works. And, and you can, you can when Halley's Comet is going to come back, you, you can say when we're, we can see Mars at this point. You can tell us when we're going to have an eclipse, a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse. You can map it. It's not a sign. It's just what it is. We can map it. We're not the Mayans way back or some ancient culture way back that doesn't know. We know. This is not some mysterious thing. Hit the like button. I want to say that because you want to say that. Hit the like button. Then they bring it into play Beyonce. Now why I want to hear Beyonce in here and talking about the Baphomet and something with Beyonce on stage and and something turned from her it turned I, I and mind you I'm at work so I can't really hear I'm I'm listening more than I'm watching. And at certain points I gotta I gotta stop it and just like look. And some something is on stage with Beyonce as a human and it turns into like robotic. Some type of statue of her lying on her side turns robotic and they're like, ooh, she knew that because they're going to be shooting rockets during the eclipse. Yeah. And she, she knew. Beyonce don't care nothing about that stuff. Trust and believe. When you're looking for something, you can make anything that you're looking at connect to what it is you're trying to say it is. But that's not what it is. At all. Y'all connect, you're trying to connect something that's not there. Trying to connect, the, the Simpsons predicted this. The Simpsons have been on since 1989. Of course, if you making all these episodes, you're, you're going you're gonna to hit a few things and some things you're going to miss. I like to see when the, when the Simpsons hit certain things, but at the same time, don't think 
that the writers and those involved are not watching what is going on in actual life to say what might happen in the future. You're watching it. So, oh, Donald, they had Donald Trump coming down to think. Donald Trump had been talking about the presidency for a long time. And when he wanted to run, Mitt Romney ran and he backed Romney. But he realized that wasn't the proper time to go against Obama. So he fell back. He fell back and let Romney take that L. He let him take that L. So then he came back the next year, took Ronald Reagan's slogan, Make America Great Again, because Ronald Reagan was an actor. Donald Trump was a reality show person with The, the Apprentice. And, and Ronald Reagan got the, evangel the uh, evangelistic, uh, what would they call him? Uh, uh, the evangelist behind him, not the evangelists, evangelics, my bad, the evangelics behind him. Trump got the evangelists behind him. He followed the same thing, and that's what he did. He, and so we have been watching this. He, he ran the same playbook, ran the same playbook, and became the president. So were the, were the Simpsons predicting this, or were they watching the patterns. Really. That's all I'm saying. They're watching the patterns. They can tell us about the next eclipse supposed to happen in about 20 years. And they're telling you the pattern that it will take. So if somebody makes something now and you watch it later, say, oh, they prophesied this. No, they didn't. They, the scientists had already told you what the next eclipse would be. They told you when Halley's Comet would be. They told you these things. These writers are watching things, they know what's going to happen, and they can write accordingly. That's what they can do. They're not predicting things, they're writing what they've already been told. That's just like the book of Daniel. Well, he's prophesying. No, it was written after the fact. How would Daniel know? That when the when the uh, Babylonians were in charge, that the uh, what was it? What was it? The uh, the Babylonians were in charge, and then the the the, uh, the Medes and the Persians would come in and take over them, and then the Greeks would come and take over them, and then the Romans come and take over them, and talks about a statue, and he predicts it because it was written after all these things happened. Not before. Same thing. The Bible's not predicting things. The Bible was talking about things that had already happened. And then you go, they say, oh, Revelation says this. But there is nothing new about earthquakes. There's nothing new about famine. There's nothing new about lawlessness. Oh, these are the last days. Wouldn't the last days have been when... In Noah's day? Think about it. They keep talking the last days, oh, all this godlessness. Isn't that why in the biblical story God flooded the earth because the people were godless and lawless? Think about it. And that's just a story. It's not real. But think about it. If it happened way back then, what were they doing then, that is so brand new now. What? There's nothing they could have been doing back then that they wasn't doing now. When the Bible says in Ecclesiastes, there is no new thing under the sun. There's no new thing under the sun. If there is no new thing under the sun, then all this stuff been going on. Lawlessness been going on. Homosexuality, been going on, if you want to think it's right. It, it's all been going on. Now, when you, it's, it's the last day. It's the last days. Everything makes it the last days. So this eclipse has happened. CERN supposedly 
or going to these folks shooting rockets at the moon. I don't know why. People supposedly looking at the moon, the eclipse, and their eyes are totally black. And they are in a dazed as demons enter their body. In 2024, are we still talking about this? Because I will always say this. This is my first. This is my foundation for everything you want to talk about as a believer. Is My first thing is, first, establish that your God is real. That's the first thing. Establish that your God is real. And do not ask me or anyone else to just believe you. Nope. I, don't, I shouldn't have to believe nothing. Because the reason I don't believe is because you lack evidence for what you believe. That's why you believe it. You don't know it. You believe it. You can't go to court talking about some, your honor. He just didn't like her, so I know he, I, I just believe he killed her. Do you have any proof that he did it? He didn't, I mean, he really didn't like her. We can't run our society based off of that. We need proof. We need proof. And then the believers come in and they, they're, they're dogging science. And I'm not one to be like, oh, science is this and science is that. But at the same time, I can't dog science and technology while I talk to you on YouTube about this issue. Because without that, guess what? You wouldn't be watching this video. I wouldn't have the camera that's recording it. The lights that's giving me lights. The, the, the internet that's giving me access to the YouTube that's allowing it to be put out there. So I can't dog that. That's true. And if you're hearing my voice and watching this video, that is true. But the belief in some God isn't. And all we ever hear are people that believe in their God defending that God with that God never being dissatisfied with what anybody's saying or satisfied with what they're saying. That God is only satisfied or dissatisfied according to the believer that is speaking about that subject. Really. You ain't so 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 in, in uh not in oh in, in the gospels, right? When Jesus was baptized in Mark, I know Mark for sure, and, and he was baptized of course in uh in uh Matthew and Luke, but not in John, because John was different, because that was the synoptic, because, you know, the people that wrote, you know, the people that wrote, whoever wrote Matthew copied Mark, whoever wrote Luke copied Mark, so they're going to have the same things in there, uh, according to this. So when, when Jesus was baptized, and the only time we see God, twice actually, was when he said, this is my beloved son, of whom I'm well pleased. And then the transfiguration, when God said, this is my beloved son, hear ye him. Other than that, all that Old Testament God is gone. He just like, I retired. I get to Jesus. I'm chilling. We don't hear none of that. None of that. Now, the only time we hear about this God is from believers who read the Bible and who don't study the Bible. And I will say this now. Just so I got it on record. Let me go on my phone so I can say this shit right.
Here's what I said. Watch this. People who study leave religion. People who believe religion don't study. I will say it again. People who study leave religion. People who believe religion don't study. Now, of course, I'm going to get mad feedback from that. Oh, he said that. That's not true. I study the Bible, and I do this and that, and I know the Christian apologists, they study what they choose to study. They study what agrees with what they believe, and they kick out what doesn't agree with what they believe. But if they would just study the truth and follow where the truth led them, they would understand that Jesus, the Christ, put the I gotta put the Christ on it, is mythical. But he, they all, all, all scholars say that Jesus was a real person. I give you that. So somebody like somebody, they he died for a cause. His body was dumped in a massive grave with everybody else. But you know, y'all loved him, so you said that he was singled out and got some special tomb for a rich man. And then an angel came and removed the stone and he wasn't there. The man could have kept his tomb. You were gonna, if I gave you the tomb, your body ain't gonna be there, then I ain't gonna give you my tomb. What, you, what was you even there for? You ain't even using the tomb. So what's the point? Oh. Look, the bottom line is, that's a story. That's a story that was created by people that loved some dude that rebelled and was crucified and was not the only one that rebelled and was crucified. Like out of all these people, only one person rebelled. No. A lot of people got crucified. A lot of people got crucified. Crucifixion was not some special thing that happened to just Jesus Christ. Because if you remember the stories, it was two people on the sides of him. This wasn't new. They wasn't learning about how they were going to crucify when they crucified Jesus. This is what they did all the time. It was like making a Whopper. Come on. Burger, mayonnaise on the top, lettuce, tomato on, on, the, dang, on the dang burger, four pickles with the ketchup, mustard, bang. Oh, wrap a Whopper. They did this all the time. This was nothing new, nothing special. Oh, he was hit with the cat and nine tail, hit 40 lashes. That wasn't new. Nothing that happened to Jesus was new nor exclusive to Jesus, the Christ, the fictional character. Real people went through that. Real people went through that. Like, he, he suffered more than anybody. That's not true. You have people that go through being trafficked, I hate that I can't even talk now because they flag everything, right? People that are being trafficked for their own, for pleasures of others for years and have to live through their torture. Not dying. You understand? People have got to live through things. But he supposedly was flogged, had to carry his cross, was crucified, and before he got stabbed with the spear, he was already dead. And on the third day, he was back to life. So hold on, hold on, hold on. So somebody gets sent to 20 years in prison, they do 20. But this dude died and came back in three? 
Ask any of the people which one y'all want to choose. You 20 or go through what Jesus went through. You'll be back in three. It's going to hurt like hell. But you'll be back in three. Back on the streets. Which one you want? You want to get flogged? Carry on cross. Nailed on it. Dead three days. All your, all your, all your stuff on your record is cleared off. And in three days, you back with your family, doing what you want to do, or you want to do 20 in the pen. Which one you want to do? A lot of folks are like, you know, go and give me that three-day thing. Three days, it's going to hurt. Yeah, go and give me the three-day, because at 20, I want to do 20. Let's do this, for real. So anyway, but back to what, let me get back to what I'm saying. Is that uh, back in those times, People that you wanted to be remembered were deified. Deified comes from the word deity. Deity is a god. So they were made a god. They were made a god. Let's say Augustus, Caesar. Well, Oct Octavius, who became Augustus, right? Same person, Octavius, Augustus, same person, right? So Julius Caesar was his adoptive father. So when Julius Caesar was assassinated and his adoptive son, Augustus, became the Caesar, because Julius Caesar was not the first Caesar. He was a politician, a general, but he was not a Caesar. His name was taken as Caesar to be king. His adoptive son, Augustus Octavius, became when we get this when we get the months of July, Julius Caesar, July, Augustus Caesar, August, the month I was born in, July, August, was added in, which is why you wonder why October is the tenth month. No, October is the eighth month, but why is it the tenth month? Because when you add July and August in there, it bumps October 8, uh, October, September 9, December 10, it knocks them back. So now they're not, they're not 8, 9, 10, they become uh, 11, what, what, 10, 11, 12. That's where that comes in. But what he did was, Julius Caesar was getting very popular. So, the people around him was like, he's going to get power. We can't allow this to happen, so they assassinated him. That's when A2 Brute, his, one of his best friends, Brutus, killed him. He's like, you too, Brutus? When, they, when they, they stabbed him and everything, the Ides of March, you too, Brutus? You, you killing me too? So they killed him. So what his, his son did was, he was the Caesar, like the president, the prime minister, I want to deify my father. I want to make Julius Caesar a god. So Julius Caesar was deified to ever be remembered, which in 2024, I'm talking about him right now, Julius Caesar was made a god. He was deified and became a god. So what would that make his son? The son of God. He became the son of God. This was the custom. If you want someone to be remembered, you deify them. So they become the son of of a God. Titus, Titus Flavius deified his father Vespasian Flavius. And some of y'all know their person who they made, Josephus Flavius, or Flavius Josephus, right? But when Titus, in the Bible, the book called Titus, Titus deified his father Vespasian, the Roman emperor, Titus became the Son of God. And he was the one that put out the New Testament. Come on, man. What are we talking about? 
So you take this person, y'all say Jesus was the son of God. No, Yahshua, whoever he was, we don't really have any information on the guy. Other than all of the mythical stories created about him that y'all know in the Bible, but there are other stories about him that just didn't make it in the Bible when Rome decided to make the canon. There are plenty of Gospels out there that just didn't make the cut, but they are out there. But they deified this so-called Jesus character. Because even if you look in the book of Mark, come on, challenge me on this. The book of Mark was the first gospel to come out, right? After the seven original letters attributed to Paul, because Paul's Jesus is the first Jesus, not the gospels. The gospel, the gospel Jesus came out after giving a story on what Paul had done. And then the fake letters attributed to Paul came out and connected, but I'm not trying to get into all that. But Paul's letters came out first, right? Mark's gospel come out first. Read that gospel. Just read the first few chapters, the first few verses. Jesus is a grown man coming to John the Baptist to be baptized for the remission of sins. But he was sinless. Then why did he come to be baptized for sins? Well, it, he says, let's do this because it is written. Where? Where? Where was this written? No. They said it was written because he wrote it. It was written when he wrote, it is written, we should do this. Jesus was a grown man, regular man, like Spider-Man, who was bit by a spider, or Peter Parker, who was bit by a spider and became Spider-Man, like Bruce Banner, who was hit with the gamma rays and became the Incredible Hulk. Come on, this is what we're talking about. They were transformed by something. But before that, they were regular people. Jesus was just, or Yahshua, was just a man. And read it. And the Holy Spirit descended on him like a dove. That Holy Spirit was his gamma radiation. That Holy Spirit was his, his spider, the, 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 the spider that bit him. You know, the, 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 the power that gave him the powers. And he went from being Jesus to being Jesus the Christ. Not Jesus Christ. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the anointed. This is where the mythical story starts. Mark is the first gospel. Read it. There is no, no virgin birth. None of that. There ain't no virgin birth. Some magi came and somebody talked to his mama. Somebody talked to John the Baptist. Dad and all. None of that. Because... It wasn't necessary according to what was going on at the time. What was going on at the time? Paul already had his letters out. And his, his, his gospel wasn't even about a Jesus on earth. So how can we bring this Jesus who was celestial, let's bring him down and give a backstory to make him a man Make him a man. And then Luke, who bounced off of, well, Mark, Matthew came before Luke. So Mark was here. Matthew took Luke. I mean, Matthew took Mark. Luke took Mark. And then Luke later wrote Acts to give a whole backstory on the Paul, who wrote the Gospels. And later they made fake Gospels after stuff he didn't do. Only seven of those 13 letters was attributed to Paul. Only seven to a Paul. And don't remember that Paul and his main person he was going against, not going against, but the main person, young person that was coming, 
you know, coming behind him was Apollos. Apollos and Paul, the same thing. Paul, Apollos, same thing. Saul, Paul, Apollos, same thing. Same thing. So all of these mythical stories came about making Jesus the Christ, the Son of God. Son of which God? Allah? No, no, no. No, 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 no. The Son of the God we're talking about in this story. The Son of God we're talking about in this story. Okay, so that's Son of God, right. So they made all these mythical stories, which we call the Gospel, and the first three Gospels, remember, they're basically based off of Mark with Hollywood added to them, and then John just came out of nowhere like, oh, add me in, boom. Add me in. In the beginning was the Word, Word with God, Word was God, add got stories in there. There's not, in other, there's not in other Gospels because none of the people were named Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. And none of the stories are eyewitness accounts. None of the stories are real. They're all mythical stories. Folklore, which whatever you want to call it, folklore, fables, pick your word. That's what it is. None of them are real. Okay? Don't know how I was talking about the eclipse and got here. I'm going to keep going. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Look, so bottom line, the Gospels aren't real. Prophecies aren't real. They're not. When you write a prophecy after the fact, they call that backdating. That's called backdating. What is backdating? Okay, I sit down right now and write a story about a whole guy back in 2000 who says that uh, I see a terrorist attack and I see two, two tall buildings being attacked by terrorists in New York. I just see this. And you write that and say he told the people two tall buildings in New York will be attacked in 2001. And then it happened. He prophesied. He prophesied the World Trade Center. But that's still vague because you didn't say exactly what was happening. It was very vague, but when they can when they well, when they can predict it with precision, that's called backdating. That means the event has already happened, and now you're just writing about it like somebody predicted it with such precision, and they didn't. You wrote it after the fact. The Book of Isaiah was written way after the fact by three different authors of Isaiah because it lived that the book is longer than the character would have been alive, would have would have been alive. So none of that is real. So this whole eclipse thing, guess what it is? In eclipse. And tomorrow I'll be at work like everybody else. Nothing changed. No demons came in, nobody. No no whole Avengers thing with a wormhole opening. And, and things coming into the atmosphere and, and and whatever they was talking about to just get money at the time, none of that happened. They'll be just like the other people talking about the world gonna end today and the world don't end. He, he changed the day. He coming another day. It's the same thing. It's just not happening. So if you're watching this video, guess what? Nothing happened. Absolutely nothing happened. I didn't expect nothing to happen. Who was the Demayans or the Incas? Who was one of them who, who sacrificed a person's life every day for the sun to come up? They sacrificed a person every day so that the sun would rise again. And then when they were conquered, when they were conquered by another people and was bound up, we were killed, and some of them were slaves. How do you think they felt when they was all locked up and bound up and the sun came up anyway? I'll be damned. So we had to kill all them people. No. If you just would have waited, the sun was going to come up anyway. Be 
patient. The sun gonna come up every day. Couldn't you imagine back then and that all that religious nonsense when an eclipse happened, what they did? Oh, no one done got black. Give me about 10 of these people. Let's sacrifice them to the gods so that the sun come back. And then the sun come back and they thought they did something. When we know today, the eclipse happened. It happened, whatever, and 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 and, and we, nobody died. So why in 2024 would you bring all this old nonsense up to these folks like something was going to happen and nothing's going to happen, nothing happened. Nothing happened. Nothing. Religion. Like Christopher Hitchens says, religion poisons everything. And that is so true. It poisons everything. People can't even learn. People can't even receive information because it has to go through the filter of the religion in their mind and it, it can't get through there because their minds won't let it go through to be received as information. Cognitive dissonance. It's, it's information. But you'll take an aspirin. You'll use a cell phone, internet, drive a car. But something about that part you won't receive. You know? I'm going to go in this video. I don't, I don't even know what I'm talking about what I was talking about at the beginning. I really don't. But, um... If you got this far, please hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, the shorts be getting the Christians, for real. The shorts that I put out, they won't answer them. They'll comment and probably they'll, they'll talk trash about me, but they won't answer it. And I don't expect them to because there's no answer for them. If you can't say, you know what, well, yeah, my God is fake. My religion is not real. There's really nothing you can say other than insult me. And I expect that. So that's how it goes, right? And y'all understand that too. I even seen the comments some of y'all got my back. And I appreciate that. Those who come in, I'll be, I'll be coming in. Ready, I'm, I'm ready to come in hot. And I said, oh, oh, they already got that. I back off. I ain't got to say nothing. They done came in hot on them. I back off, you know. But anyway, let me just, I'm just dropping this video to put something out here. The eclipse happened. No demons. No space takeovers. No zombies. Nobody eyes all black. If anything happened after this, then I'll make another video after that if that happens, but... Like 2017, this eclipse happened, it's done, and I'm going to work the next day. I don't see nothing. Well, I'll see y'all like and subscribe to videos, all that good stuff like there. And I will see y'all on the next one. Y'all take care out there. Peace.